It is ironic that Edward Snowden has sought and found indefinite refuge in Russia. He recently addressed a crowd in Canada via a robot. Um, he was somewhere hiding out and was controlling the robot at a long distance and was speaking to the crowd. And he said that he did have other state secrets that he intended to release and has asserted that they will not jeopardize national security. I think this has to really irk our government that Putin is behaving the way he's doing regarding Crimea and Ukraine and they have Snowden. <laughs> and by the way, Putin has said, and this remains to be seen, that they do not want to have an intervention in Ukraine. That he wants Ukraine to be a free people. He could be lying. And we'll see. But Ukraine has already said, we don't want to be a member of NATO. So that means that they're looking to the east instead of to the west. We'll see what happens. And we'll keep following the Edward Snowden saga. Moving quickly to the missing airplane. Obviously, this is a tragedy. It is possible that the crew and the people are still alive. It looks very clearly now like the pilots themselves took the plane. And as one nation after another comes forward with clearer details, uh, it, it looks like this was an inside job. We will keep you posted on it. And it looks like it was a Muslim inside job. Once again, displaying what devout Muslim men look like in their geopolitics and in their, uh, their pursuit of terrorism to affect public policy. Uh, one of the staff and I were talking before the show about somebody he saw on, on Fox or something that said, well, we know that terrorism is so that the terrorists can say, look, here I am. No, that would make Beyonce a terrorist or some of these other people. No, what they want is to get everyone's attention. Terrorism is not for the dead. Terrorism is for the living, all right? Terrorism is to affect public policy, to put fear in the hearts of populations so that their government's policy is changed, like Spain leaving the coalition to fight against Al-Qaeda, okay? Anyway, I want to encourage you to go to our website and read. Read. If you're interested in historic Islam, I have three or four lengthy papers online that you can download and read for free. They are a part of my work for my master's degree in international terrorism. So they read a little bit dry. I'll let you know there's no exclamation marks. If you want to understand the history of social revolution, we have a television series online. You can have all of it for free. You can access all of it. The point of this is for us to help equip you to become a voice for righteousness and a force for good, for truth, and for justice in the world. But in order for that to happen, you have to be equipped. So we're offering all of that to you at no charge. God bless you. Enjoy it. This is the voice of resistance.